in one of my previous videos, I showed you guys how to recycle coconut fibers so that you could continue growing microgreens in them. And that was great because cocoa fiber is expensive and you want to be able to reuse them and save as much money as possible. But I like more self-sustainability. I don't grow or live anywhere where I can grow coconuts and get coconut fibers. So I wanted to have a system that I could use over and over and over again that I didn't have to make or buy again. And so I decided to buy some plastic grids. I bought these from my local Joann's store. And my idea was I would have a heating mat with these plastic grids in a 10 by 20 container. The heating mat would be underneath the container. I would pour some water in there, just enough that it wouldn't cover the top layer mat. I would use at least two layers of this grid and I would coat it with a whole bunch of seeds. And then I would put a, a dome on top of the tray to keep the humidity in. So the, the heating pad would humidify the dome and moisten the seeds and get everything to germinate uh, even though water wasn't directly touching it so to speak. My theory was that the roots would weave in between all the layers of plastic. It would be strong enough for the roots to grab a hold and, and grow straight up and it did. It worked just fine. But then I learned later on that this plastic that I bought is actually toxic. So I was like oh I don't want toxic stuff in my food. So I upgraded to this stainless steel wire mesh. I used only two layers of it. And I'll give you the link for where you can buy it, what I bought. And it works really well. I just put all the seeds on it, the humidity from the, the heating mat, moisten all the seeds, and they grow right up. And, and one of the best things about this system is that it's way easier to harvest and way faster to harvest than using cocoa fibers. Because with the coconut fiber, you know, you got to cut it and then you got to do all that work to clean the, the coconut mat up. With this, you just pull them straight up and there's not really anything to clean except maybe old seeds that, that didn't germinate. So it's extremely fast. It's reusable as, as until this thing rusts and it's stainless steel, so it should last a long time. And... Um, I've gotten good harvest out of it and uh, I really recommend it. So I hope to save you guys a lot of time and money.